Today we are at North Wales Golf Club in Landed New North Wales. It's a par 71 Lynx course. The aim of the day is to try and break 85, so get to 12 over or better. Opening holes a par 4 dog leg to the left. The tee shot finds the fairway. Uh, it made it over the out of bounds. <laughs> so just a short iron in for the approach, going with the 8 iron. And this one's hit right on line. Happy with that one? Yeah, really good, right next to the flag. Uh, strolling up to the green, we can see our ball's in the back fringe. And the ball actually pitched here, just right by the flag, and rolled out to the back. Still not, not too bad of a shot though. We have an 18 footer for Birdie from the fringe. Stop short. And we tap in for the easy par, and we're off to the races. Hole two is a par four dog leg to the left. And we hit a poor drive down the right, but it's still in play. So we're a bit further back than we wanted to be, going with a hybrid, 26 degree. And we hit a great shot that finds the back right edge of the green. Thumbs up with that one. Yes, yeah, right, right side of the green. <laughs> and here's our birdie putt coming up. Happy with the green in regulation. It's a long birdie putt, a 30 footer downhill. And the putt just slides by to the right. Pretty good effort that one. Always tough to judge the downhill lag putts. And we lip out for par. Shaking my head on that one. And we tap in and cut our first bogey of the day. Hole three is a short par four that plays downhill slightly. Didn't want to take the drive but it might go too far. And hit a nice shot that finds the fairway. Thumbs up. Yeah, pretty good. Safe as houses, that one. So we have an approach from the fairway. Going with 7 iron. And it's hit really well for distance, but just misses the green to the right by a hair's breadth. This is actually on the fringe here. So we didn't get the green in regulation, but we have a birdie putt. And uh, not such a good effort there, stops five foot short. But we hold the five footer for par, never in doubt, and card our second par of the day. Hole four is the first of the par threes at North Wales Golf Club. It's a long one, going with a 22 degree hybrid just to get it there. And we make a great connection with a tee shot. Thumbs up. Yeah, really good. <laughs> That's right online that. It's uh, back of the green, I think. I've never hit this green in one before, so really chuffed with this one. This is downhill right to left. It's a downhill slider just over 30 foot. And in reality, it's just a lag putt to get close. Uh, stopped a little bit short, but not too bad. And we tap in for another easy par. Solid golf. Really playing well now. Just going to hit a smooth one. Uh, just kind of fade it off the right, off the dog leg. Fade it off the left, I mean. <laughs> Hole five is the dog leg to the left, par five. String the next two hardest hole on the front nine. We'll make a great connection with the driver. Thumbs up. But unfortunately, I didn't realize there's this ditch here. So uh, I've never played this hole up down the left side. But luckily we didn't lose the ball. Here's two, four, one. Uh, the ball went in the water hazard, so I took a drop. This is a seven iron just across the dog leg. 
Just playing a layup here for the third shot. We hit a nice draw around the dog leg. Thumbs up, we're in the fairway. Seems okay. Having approached the green uphill, around 100 yards. This hit right on line. And I, thought, I caught this one off the toe, it didn't feel right. It's a slight miss hit, but it went perfect, I think. Next to the hole. It's good to have forgiving irons. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that one. And there's our ball right next to the flag. We have a chance to save par on this tricky hole. We definitely take that after being in the ditch, and it's a six footer pretty level. And we hit a really weak putt. Didn't even reach the hole. But we card a bogey, which is still a respectable score on that tough hole. Hole six is a par four that plays from an elevated tee. Can't see the fairway, but you can't see where your ball finishes. And we make a great connection with the driver, thumbs up. Straight down the middle. <laughs> and the fairways are starting to soften up, didn't get much run out from that drive. But we still have a chance to hit the green with the five iron. And we make a great connection with this iron shot. And it catches a piece of the green, thumbs up. <laughs> It's on the green, left side of the green. Green in regulation. So we're pin high to the left of the flag stick. And that means another birdie putt's coming up. It's a 20 footer. Let's see if we can make this one. And the putt drops. <laughs> really happy with that. I guess claiming that already when it's four foot away. Happy with that one. We make a great birdie on hole six. Happy days. Hole seven, so par five, plays uphill slightly. And we make a really good connection with the driver. Goes to the left, but it's still in play. Thumbs up. It's left hand rough, but it's fine. Second shot is the layup with the hybrid, just trying to get it down there as far as possible. I didn't draw. And it didn't draw, but I think it got a couple of lucky members bounces forward. 61 pins at the front though, so just hitting the sand wedge. The ball must have rolled a lot down the fairway actually here. Two really good shots of over 200 yards. Leaves us just a sand wedge to get the green in regulation. And that's what happens. Yeah, I'll take that one. So we have another birdie putt coming up. I've said that so many times on this front nine already. It's a 15 footer, slightly right to left. Let's see if we can make this one. It misses short, it had the line, but I just didn't hit it. That was to go back to level par on the, on the seventh hole. And we tap in for another easy par, and we're just flying on this front nine, playing really well. Hole 8, one of my favourites at North Wales Golf Club, it's a blind tee shot over the marker post. Par 4. You'll see why it's such a good hole in a minute. And we hit a great connection with the driver down the left. And here's the hole. And the par 4, the fairway is just crazy. See all the uh, bumps and hollows you have to clear. I think it's about 170 yard carry to the, the fairway. It's the type of hole that you'll never play it the same twice. And there's our ball right next to the bell to notify the group behind you. And we have a great chance to hit the green in two. It's 140, 127 to the front. The pin's at the back though, so just gonna hit the seven, uh, six iron, full shot. Hope we get it on the green. This approach is totally blind. Just have to pick your club and hope it's the right number. And we've got good distance, but just missed the green to the right. So there's a green side pitch. I think that's is that the first green side pitch I've hit on the front nine. <laughs> I think so. That's as well as playing. And we have a 12 footer from the fringe to save par. Slightly downhill. And the ball slides by. And we make the one coming back, card a bogey with no drama on hole 8. 
And now we're walking into the uh, the show stopping holes on this course. That's West Shore Beach on the left and the Great Orm in the background. And if you you're just walking up to the T here on the ninth hole, really nice views of the uh, Conway Mountains there. Just panning over here, yeah, just really nice part of the course. This this and uh, great weather as well. It cleared up nicely. Hole nine, it's a short par four. Going with high rough for two for position. Don't want to massively hook this ball that will end up on the beach. And make a great connection with a tee shot and it finds the fairway. Straight down the middle. <laughs> Strolling up to the fairway here, so that's the great home in the background. It's a limestone headland according to Wikipedia. And here's our ball in the fairway, going with a 7-iron just to get it there as, as it's slightly uphill. And we make another great connection with an iron from approach shot and it finds the green. <laughs> it's on the green, it's on the left side, it's still a birdie putt though. And uh, this is our seventh out of nine birdie putts on the front line. And if you're counting the ones from the fringe, which were holdable. So it's a 30 putter downhill. Stop short, I was a bit defensive on that one. Move a four footer for the par. It just slides by to the right, kicking myself on that one. <laughs> and tap in for a three putt bogey on hole nine for a front nine score of 40. Three over. So, yeah, just the best I've ever played, I think, on camera. This, the most birdie chances. And just keeping the ball in play well off the tee. Really good approach shots and actually missed a few putts as well, so it could have been even better. So let's see what we can score the back nine at North Wales Golf Club. Hole 10 is a tough par 4 called the Ruins. Hitting over the marker post. And we slightly top our tee shot and come crash bang <laughs> down to earth and hit our worst shot of the day and end up in the thick stuff. The second shot is just a pitching wedge trying to hack it out back into play and we're still in the thick stuff. This goes forward 20 yards. We have a slightly better lie this time. We're going to go with a 7 iron and hopefully get it forward. And thankfully we advance it forward at reasonable yardage. <laughs> we're shaking our head as uh, yeah, just the wheels have come off on this hole. We have a pitching wedge into the green, still have a chance to salvage a bogey out of this mess. But we miss the green short just slightly. Still have the bogey putt coming up, it's a 30 footer from the fringe. And this one's just hammered by, I think, yeah, just the adrenaline, you know when you're losing all your shots, you lose your feel on the putting. And the seven footer <laughs> didn't that would have gone in but I just didn't hit that coming back. Over hit one and then hit the next. And the card is disaster, triple bogey blow up hole and hole ten. So we lost the same amount of shots as one on one hole as the entire front nine. Golf's a funny old game. And just when it couldn't get any harder, hole eleven's probably the toughest driving hole on the on the course, stroke next one. You can't go left into the gorse and there's a ditch to the right. Uh, two, three, six, a bad lie hitting the nine iron. Luckily we missed a ditch from the tee, but we're in the thick stuff for the second hole in a row. It's just a hack out. Kind of went more left than intended. Oh well, it's back in play. <laughs> it's one, six, one, one, four, seven to the front edge, just hitting the five iron just to get it there. We have a very tough approach to the green here. This five iron was hit really sweetly, flushed this one. Yeah, really good, I think it's on the green. <laughs> and we're on the green, and we have the unlikely chance to salvage a par after that terrible tee shot. So it's a big green this one, 28 footer for the par. 
Stop short. Well, we just about hold the putt for bogey. Got away with that one. Sneaked in the right edge. And we card a bogey on the struggle there's one hole, which is still a respectable score. And this uh, part is the sandiest part of the course. Basically just sand dunes here. The uh, green keepers must have nightmares about the tea boxes and the greens in this section of the course. Hole 12, the part 4 that plays from an elevated tee. And we make a good connection with the driver but lose the ball down the right. But it's still in play and goes over 220 yards. So we have a chance to hit the green in two with a seven iron. And this one's hit really well, right on line. I just got the club wrong there. Should have used the eight iron on that one. Shot through the green. So we have a green side chip here. It's on a down slope in a bad lie. And I just totally messed it up, duffed it. We still have a chance to save par with a 22 footer. It nearly drops. Can't get much closer than that. Hit a really good putt there for once. We card a bogey and move on. Hole 13 is a longish par 3 from elevated T position. Playing into the sun here. Going with a 5 iron. Just trying to smash it. Trying to get it to the right side of the green. I, I didn't see that at all. I didn't have a clue where the ball went at that time, but I hit it exactly as intended and missed the green long right. So it's a long lag putt here, 52 foot, just a percentage play going with the putter. And it's just terrible, the bad putting's back. <laughs> just hammered it straight through the break, nearly off the green. Another 15 footer for par. And this one's hammered back as well. <laughs> Yeah, my putting was really inconsistent on this day. It's not the greens, it's me. I just wasn't reading them right, I think. Getting the pace right. So, is this a five-footer now? Knee knocker for a bogey. Not an ideal putt. But luckily it drops. We card the bogey and get the hell out of there. <laughs> Made the bogey the hard way there. Hole 14 to par five with a really intimidating tee shot. Just can't miss left or right, otherwise potentially a lost ball. And we make a great connection with a driver that finds the fairway. Straight down the middle that one. <laughs> Second shot layup here is totally topped, just a bad miss hit. Oh uh, yeah, just trying to get it down there like 170 or 180 yards, but just totally messed that one up. It's 164, a tiny bit of breeze into me. Just gonna hit a solid shot with a 26 degree hybrid. Hopefully get it on and get a putt for birdie. The 14th green here is the clubhouse, it's right next to it, and there's a few people on the patio. It's a bit of extra pressure, and I messed up this approach shot too. Bunker on the right. <laughs> And my bunker play is probably the weakest part of my game. Not an ideal situation this was. It's kind of plugged, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna come out left. Just get a putt for par, hopefully. Oh yeah, it's fully plugged. <laughs> so it's a plugged ball. I can't. We got the lip to deal with the bunker and Congo at the flag. And we're out to the bunker in one, which is actually a result if you've seen some of my previous videos. We have the 30 footer from the fringe. Percentage play goes reasonably well. We end up four foot away for a bogey. Right in front of the clubhouse. Bit of extra pressure on this one. And it hits the flag right in the middle of the hole and drops and the card a bogey. 
Hole 50 is a short par 4, it's notable as you have to hit your shot right next to a load of people on the patio. So I've got about a dozen golfers all watching me take the shot. Got a comment from one of the fellow golfers on the patio. The draw's not working today. I hit the ball the wrong way, but we're in play down the right. It's 163, one, front edge is 150. Just hitting the uh, 26 degree hybrid. Get on the green, get a putt for birdie, hopefully. We have a chance to hit the green in two. And that's what happens. It's a pretty good shot. <laughs> good line, that one. We have our first green in regulation on the back nine, so it's the first birdie chance of the back nine coming up. It's a 25 footer uphill. Let's see if we can make this one. Just misses to the left. Pretty good effort, actually, that one. And we tap in for the easy par and move on. And just a quick note uh, that hole 15 was stroke index four, second hardest hole in the back nine. And looking back at the green, it's uh, yeah, very tight. If you miss pin high, left or right, you can lose a lot of shots. It's 137, 125 to the front edge. Uh, pins behind the mound on the left. Just going to hit a full 7 iron. It's slightly downhill. And now it's on to the back to back par threes that crisscross each other. Very unique and memorable holes, these ones. Uh, hole 16 is hit into a blind green. And they get good distance. Oh, you can play your shots and oh, ahead. What are you doing? Uh, left side of the green, that one. I recorded my round. <laughs> oh, you're recording me. Yeah, I put them on YouTube. And there's some members, I let them play through. And uh, we missed the green left and got caught up on this bank. It's kind of like a punch ball, so we get, didn't get the lucky bounce down to the green. So we have a very tough green side uh, chip kind of shot here. Yeah, and this one was just kind of almost an impossible type of shot to get close. We still have a 10 footer to save par. Let's see if we can make this one. We miss short left. And card the bogey with no drama on hole 16. And here's a quick look back at hole 16. Yeah, it's just a tiny green and just so much trouble left and right. And it's actually hole uh, stroke index 18, that, so uh, I couldn't work that out. So now we move on to hole 17, which is the highest part of the course. It's a really nice par three. Just hitting the eight iron. There's a tiny bit of breeze into me. Hole 17 is one of my favorite holes on this course. And our tee shot is hit right on line. Definitely don't want to be short on this hole. And we're on the green. Yeah, it's about 10 foot for birdie though. <laughs> I clubbed up slightly on that one. And it was definitely the right decision. There's a lot of trouble short of the screen. So I was going to hit the 9 iron, but changed at the last second. So we have a birdie effect coming up. It's a 15 footer. This is what we have. Slightly downhill. Let's see if we can make this one. It misses short right. I think there was a bit of moisture in the air actually because it was getting towards the end of the day. And we tap in for the easy par and move on to the final hole, which is a short par four from an elevated tee position. Quite a nice ending hole, this one. Uh, not really a card wrecker. We make a good connection with the driver. We miss the fairway to the right. It still goes over 220 yards. It's right hand rough, but it's still okay. It's 83 from a bad lie. Just going to hit a smooth pitching wedge to the left side of the green. Hopefully, get it on, get a putt for birdie. Just a pitching wedge into the green, happy to have the club in hand. But this one was a flyer lie, and it came out like a rocket. It's gone long. <laughs> Should have hit the sandwich. Now we're faced with a delicate greenside chip, just 12 yards to the pin. But it goes well, all things considered. 
You see the moisture on the green there, it just slowed the ball up straight away. And we have a four footer to save par. And the putt drops right in the middle of the hole. Happy with that one. That's a good round apart from the massive blow up on the start of the back nine. So the final score was 82, 11 over, so we've done it. We've uh, broken 85, I've been 12 over or better on this course, so that was the target that started the day. So really happy with that. Played amazing on the front nine, it's probably the best I've ever played on camera, even better than some of the previous rounds. And actually missed a few putts on that front nine, so it could have been even better. Just had the one blow up hole at the start of the back nine. I finished uh, the round quite strongly with three out of four pars and I was pleased with that and happy with the round in general. My approach play was really improved on this day and I think that was due to the fact I'd played two shorter courses just before this and it really sharpened up my iron play. I was hitting the greens or getting to the green fringes and that really helped to keep the scorecard ticking over. I played quite well off the tee on this day. Just one went into a hazard and two went into deep rough the rest of them were all playable and had chances to hit the greens and regulation and that helped the scorecard too. The course was in great condition on this day, just a couple of fairways, I think they were letting them grow back after the grass had died over the dry summer, but other than that it was perfect, great conditions for golf. I paid £35 for this round at twilight rate, which is a lot more than I normally pay, I can't play there every week that's for sure, but it was worth it just to play the, it's good to play these courses once in a while just to test your game against the, uh, the really nice setups and I enjoyed the round all the same so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed playing and making it and see you on the next one signing off